Welcome to One Training, where we provide health and fitness content to help you achieve your goals. Choose the fitness course professional athletes trust. Click the link in the comments to learn more. So previously we've discussed about keenly client information and its importance, um, and then also what our limitations are as trainers. Uh, next, we're gonna speak about clients who are at risk. So that presents another, uh, not a concern, but just another thing to keep in mind for a trainer is you know, clients who are at high risk. Um, you know, we are you know, Cert 3, Cert 4 qualified, and some clients, when it comes to their health, have lots of uh, risks we need to consider. So one concern or one area we sort of classify this is just our duty of care. So our duty of care is a legal obligation um, that we are the professional, um, that we are a client, you know, paying for our services fall under our duty of care. Um, just in general terms, Chris, uh, what do you, what do you uh, sort of, what are some general terms for, for duty of care you think um, uh, for, for clients? Uh, well, I guess we're not. It's it, it's important not just for people who are at risk. Okay, we we're, we are going to specifically focus on them right now. But like duty of care is a, it's a legal obligation for for any personal trainers, uh, and basically this just means that we take every possible you know, step or opportunity to prevent any you know any harm to to, to our clients. Yeah, and this could simply be uh, so. For example, you know when we are um, going through, uh, you know, some of the initial sort of questioning about their health conditions and pro, uh, you know, what type of program they're looking for. Um, even just understanding, you know, based on that, uh, what uh, things they may be willing to do, not willing to do. Okay, at the end of the day, if we can do everything we possibly can to keep them them safe and and work with their conditions. I guess that's how we are going to demonstrate our, our duty of care. And, and like I said, you would do this same thing for someone who wasn't at risk, but these people are, you know, particularly or, or more vulnerable than your average Joe. Okay. So it's more important that we uh, are able to kind of identify and assess what, um, what risks there potentially are. Um, especially so, so, exercise. so Chris, you mentioned about identifying um, those risks. Um, yep. So, what would you say would be the most important thing we can do um, to do so? So the, the first thing that you're likely going to have to do in, in any gym scenario, or remember if you're running your own business, you know, in a studio at home in, in an outdoor setting, having a, every client, um, you know, from the day one where they're going to come into your business and train, um, fill out you know, the, the documents on the screen now. So the stage one and stage two, okay, uh, is the easiest way to identify this because the whole purpose of this document is to highlight any any potential risk, okay? So stage one um, would identify any, uh, I guess, immediate referral requirements. So what this means is that by answering these questions, the client's going to look at, uh, how, tell us, is there anything that, you know, is considered a significant medical condition or concern? Okay. And if they answer yes to these questions, uh, they have to go and get a, a referral or some sort of clearance from a, a, a not a fitness professional, a, a medical professional. Okay. So a GP, a physiotherapist, whatever, you know, um, specific personnel specializes in their, their area of, of what their condition is or consists of that person would give us the clearance to say, yes, you can exercise or this person can exercise from there on. Okay. So that's one of your more immediate ones. Um, but in the following questions of the pre-screening uh, document, this would start to identify, you know, not serious conditions, but, but things that are, you know, risks to be considered as well. So like I said, this whole questionnaire takes care of, of identifying that in particular. Yeah, awesome there. And I think it's um, really important, important to bring this fact home because, um, you know, so many people are so keen about, you know, jumping into exercise and just, you know, yeah, we can start tomorrow and do this and do that. Um, but, you know, if trainers can really just make a habit of just, you know, making sure all clients um, complete this, um, then that's going to filter out any of these uh, uh, things that may happen. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%.